Borada Pauv, and welcome to the virtual Rollwell Show 2021 and to HCC's keynote breakfast event. We come together this year with hope on the horizon as recovery takes over from emergency. We have all endured a traumatic 16 months, but it is one though where this industry stepped up to the nation's table. Our farmers put food on the plates of Wales and HCC, along with supply chain stakeholders, played a central part. HCC brought leadership and strategy to an unstable market and the results speak for themselves. In this 12 months, red meat purchases were up by 12% and up even more than that in independent retail butchers. Spending on lamb was up by 19% and spending on beef up by 14%. HCC assisted adding valuable customers to the retailer's roster. And we are currently working tirelessly to help the industry turn these purchasers, including younger families, into regulars. Latest data shows that consumers love the great taste of PGI Welsh lamb and Welsh beef. Increasingly, they're also liking what they're hearing from HCC about Welsh red meat's background story. Lockdown has meant that shoppers have had more time to source and cook at home. They want to know more about traceability and where their food has come from. They like the story of Wales's network of family farms and they want to back local farmers and reduce their food miles. And with HCC's help, retailers are signing up to support this agenda. A new range of Welsh lamb will be in a major premium retailers from this week and with a strong promotional push. Other retailers also have similar plans to back our story of sustainable production. Consumers and retailers are supportive of our strong national narrative on sustainability, the Welsh way of livestock farming. We have a solid base on which to build. In the coming months, HCC will bang the drum even louder for the Welsh way of sustainable livestock farming. We will show customers that it is a model that not only shares their concerns about the environment, but it also underpins the Welsh way of life, Welsh traditions, Welsh culture and Welsh communities. Welsh farmers lead on the solutions to sustainability. We have the temperate climate, the topography, the natural woodland areas, grassland and shelter belts, which can all play their part. The second half of 2021 will see a series of high profile global environmental summits. What better time is there to shout about our emerging sustainability successes? HCC will equip itself to support the whole supply chain to play a strong role in this emerging landscape. Our children have led the way on campaigning on climate change. We also believe it's vital that they are inspired to cook and get a fair and balanced set of messages about the role that red meat plays in a healthy, sustainable and balanced diet. And that is why HCC is launching, in time for the new academic year, a new range of educational resources. Sustainability is an economic as well as an environmental concern. Alongside a critical mass of livestock production, exports are vital to the well-being of this industry and to the wider national economic recovery. Red meat exports are worth £200 million a year to Wales. HCC's Vision 2025 has been vital in supporting our industry cope with four years of uncertainty relating to Brexit and also the turbulence of a global pandemic. We have had remarkable successes in retaining existing markets, but also in building new ones. In the Middle East alone, exports of Welsh lamb have increased by 500% in the last two years. And as we emerge from Brexit and the global pandemic, there will be huge opportunities and we must grasp them. There are still unknowns to be confronted, such as the impact of new free trade agreements. Now, fair competition is fine, providing that all play by the same rules and produce to the same standards. In Wales, our watchword is quality. Our producers and customers will not tolerate any erosion to standards or distortion in any sectors of our markets. We've all seen over the past year or so just how important the food service industry is to our food producers. It's vital that HCC do all that we can to help the sector build back. So many restaurants in Wales do wonderful things with local produce. Let's champion them and let's encourage more to do so. Let's build in Wales a foodie army of red meat ambassadors. 
Together, across the supply chain, we have built sound foundations and a framework for the future. HEC will continue to inform, lead and guide the industry and its consumers and enable the sum of its parts to become so much greater. After the hardest of years, we can look forward from a position of strength and with optimism. An integral part of this enduring partnership is Welsh Government. On behalf of the industry, HCC is grateful to the Minister and her team for the valuable resources that have enabled us to pursue a wide-ranging programme of industry development, marketing and promotion. It is now my pleasure to introduce the Minister for Rural Affairs, North Wales and Trevnys, Leslie Griffiths. Hello and thank you for inviting me to speak to you once again at a virtual Rural Welsh Agricultural Show. This time last year I said I hoped we would all be able to meet in person this year. Unfortunately COVID-19 has not gone away. Our incredible vaccination programme in Wales continues at a terrific pace and hopefully next summer we will be able to meet up properly. I know many farming families are again missing their annual visit to the show. The last 16 months have been a real hard struggle for many of you, with lockdown bringing even greater isolation for those in rural locations. The important role of health and care workers has rightly been celebrated in recent months. However, the media and the people of Wales have not always noted the huge gratitude we owe everyone involved in keeping our food supplies flowing during such a difficult time. I want to thank everyone who has played their part in producing our food, making it available in shops and of course promoting it to the public. Thank you for your hard work and thank you for your heroic contribution to keeping the nation going during the pandemic. Thank you for all you are doing now to help Wales recover and move forward. I recognise how hard business was affected by the pandemic across the country, but thanks to your incredible efforts, the sector was stabilised and prices rose and have stayed high for beef and lamb. I was pleased to see the change in buying behaviour. Customers are not only buying more red meat, but prefer to buy local with more interest in the sustainability of their meat. When I was asked to speak at your conference last year, I said how proud I was of the resilience and ingenuity you showed during the pandemic and how further challenges lay ahead. At the time, we were still waiting to see what kind of trade deal we would have with the EU. And of course, none of us were aware of how future free trade agreements might affect us. Our biggest concern at the moment is the free trade agreement with Australia. On paper, we are told this has huge potential benefits for Wales. Unfortunately, we haven't been allowed to see this paper. Throughout the negotiations, we have worked with the UK government, alerting them to both opportunities and risks for Wales. But we have not yet seen the exact details of the agreement. Last year, the value of goods traded between Australia and Wales amounted to £158.6 million. Increasing sales of Welsh meat would be welcomed. But we have been clear throughout any trade deal must not disadvantage Welsh producers or compromise the high quality standards which are so important to us here in Wales. Our producers must be able to compete on a level playing field. This makes the work of HCC even more important. And now more than ever, we need to focus our efforts on new strategies to promote our fantastic Welsh produce. Wales's biggest asset in this increasingly competitive market is our reputation. A reputation of quality, high welfare standards and non-intensive, low emissions, environmentally focused farming. I was delighted to see the HCC's report, The Welsh Way, recognising the work of Welsh farmers to meet Wales's sustainability targets. We often see intensive farming systems coming in for heavy criticism in the media. I am pleased to see the Welsh way of farming is a world away from this. This new Welsh government is putting tackling climate change and recovery from the pandemic at the centre of everything we do. We want a fairer, greener, more prosperous Wales where no one is left behind. 
Welsh livestock farmers are an integral part of the solution to address many of the serious challenges facing our natural environment. We are a globally responsible nation and it is important we do not displace production to areas of the world less suitable for meat and milk production causing significant environmental harm for the climate, natural resources and our habitats. I look forward to working closely with you all to achieve this, continuing to support the farming industry whilst playing our part to promote not just our incredible produce, but also to defend our high standards. Once again, you have proved how working together we can secure our food supply, enhance our environment and also look after each other. As we move out of the dark days of COVID-19, we must again work together to build a bright recovery, supporting business, protecting farming communities and promoting Welsh produce around the world. Diolch.